about how being a Christian is like being a pumpkin. Yes! I'm here to tell you that being a Christian is like being a pumpkin. That's why you wore an orange shirt. <laughs> That's why I wore an orange shirt today. Do I look like a pumpkin? Do you look like a pumpkin? I'm not orange. You're not orange. And mm. Cash doesn't look like a pumpkin. Cash, do you look like a pumpkin? Yes. No, no pumpkins here. Well, we actually have a fun poem for you that will explain why Christians are like pumpkins. You guys want to find out? Sure. Here we go. All right, guys. Being a Christian is like being a pumpkin. God picks you from the patch and brings you in. Hmm. You need a pumpkin from the patch. Miss Brittany, do you got a pumpkin in your backyard? I don't know. Let's go look and find out. Let's go. Let's Come go. on, guys. What's Cash bringing us? Is it a pumpkin? Cash, let me see. Let me see what's in your mouth. Is it a pumpkin? Is this a pumpkin? No. That's yes. not a pumpkin. Oh. Lucy, where's the pumpkin? Where's the pumpkins at? Come show us, Lou. Come on, Cash. I look. see something. <gasps> look it over here, guys. <gasps> yes. Come on, Lou. We've got some pumpkins in the patch. What we got? Pumpkins. Pumpkins in the patch. Let's pick them and bring them in. Okay. So then the second thing, after we picked our pumpkins in the patch, it says that God washes the dirt off of you. So we got some dirt on these pumpkins. I mean, bum, 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 I think bum, bum. it's time to bum, wash bum. them. Wish you wash them. Wash them pumpkins off, Lou. Okay. Make them squeaky clean. It's even shinier than before. Oh, oh nice. Sweet. Ooh, looking good. Thank you. Ooh. Look how much dirt. <laughs> That's awesome. So the next part of our poem says he opens us up and he scoops out all the yucky stuff. He removes the seeds of doubt, hate, greed, and so much more. So you got your pumpkin there. You got the pumpkin. Well, let's open it up. <laughs> wow. Oh, yuck. Yuck, gross. You I'm got... not touching that, Miss I Caitlin. think you might need this. This is what he was talking about. He scoops out the yuck. Scoops out the yuck. Yes. I think it's time for a little scooping of the yuck, Lou. Get a bag and you can scoop all that yuck out oh, of the yeah. bag. This. Are there any seeds in there? Oh, yeah. And yuck. Look at that. Oh, Whoa. gross. I've got my hands in the ready pool. Some pumpkin. All right, see it. go in and get the yuck. <laughs> and in the same way, when God comes into our hearts, he pulls out all of the yucky stuff. Eat it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. So it's Brittany. What's what up? What should be next in the poem? That's right. So after God comes in and scoops all the yucky stuff out of you, he carves a nice smiling face. So what's on mm. someone's face? When you see a smiling face, smiling face, what should I carve out? You guys at home, what, what do we need for a face? How about a... What's call? Your... Your... Jaw? No. no. Not your jaw. Something else for it. Teeth? Teeth? What's their teeth inside? Mouth? Mouth! Your is mouth! It's gonna we... be a sad mouth or a smiling mouth? It's gonna be this mouth. We're gonna a do a smiling mouth. mouth. Alright, so let's draw a smiling mouth. Let's see if I can draw here. We're gonna take it, we're just gonna go up and down. Oh, is that it? So is, that cute. A, is that it? Can I walk away? Um, no. that might be what? a little What's weird missing? if we only have a smile. Eyes. <gasps> All the nose? eyes. You can't. Eyes and a nose. You're so right. We need some eyes and nose on there. All right. Should I draw circle eyes, you think? Sure. Okay. I'll do how many? Just one, right? 
No. What? How many? Two. Oh, okay. Two eyes. All right, let's see. One, two, and then for the nose. Nose. What should I do? Hmm. Another circle? Or a I have an idea. Why don't you tell me? It will go like that. A little triangle? A little triangle? How about a tiny but little triangle nose? Love it. So oh. cute. Okay. That look good? All right, we better Perfect. get to carve it. Okay, guys, so now it's time to carve them out. Here we go. All right. Going to do some carving of the pumpkin. Pumpkin carving. Ooh. Let's get a cute little face going here. Lucy, can you? Ooh, ah! Ah! <laughs> He's got a hole. He's broken. He's got an eyeball. All right. Oh, guess what, Lou? There's going to be more stuff to clear out. All right. We're going to keep carving this pumpkin. All right. What's the last step of our poem? So now that we've got the pumpkin, we got his smile and his eyes and his nose. It says... And he puts his light inside you to shine for the whole world to see. Hmm. What do we do with the pumpkin once it's carved? We got to get ourselves a light. And the last part is, drum roll please. Jesus puts the light inside you. Just like this. is why we are just like pumpkins. Jesus comes in, cleans us out, and shines his light in us. All right, boys and girls, today's story is When God Made Light. Let there be what God said and light began shining and then started to spread it flickered and dashed it blinked and it flashed light poured and light spilled it bolted and splashed light glared and glimmered it flared and sparked and wherever light shined dark stopped being dark space became bright because God filled it with twinkles of yellow light, white light. Brilliant stars gleamed, swirls of light streamed, and that once empty space, a galaxy beamed. When God made light, a universe lit up and dazzled displays of big shiny stuff. And all that light, every bright golden hue, is the very same light that God puts inside you. Now God made the sun to light up our days, to cover our pl planet with life-filled rays, to make summers warm and winters not too cold, to help flowers bloom and turn wheat fields to gold to burst in the morning at the first crack of dawn to rise up slowly and beam across lawns. And when the sun shines, here's what you should do. Go run and have fun, play a game, maybe two. Go skipping or flipping or down a slide, slide slipping, or if it's too hot in a pool, just go dipping. Dance in the grass, go climb trees, build castles with sands, face the wind, feel the breeze. Eat berries and cherries in a patch, pick strawberries, or whistle out loud with the choir of canaries. And once in a while, when the plane is done, look up in the sky and thank God for the sun. And when the light fades and a day ends too soon, wave goodbye to the sun and hello to the moon. Yes, God made the moon to brighten the night sky, to reflect the sunshine, to be our world nightlight. 
But beneath the dark sky, there are things you can do. Just bring mommy or daddy and a flashlight too. Raise a tent and go camping or through the woods stamping, romping and stomping on paths made for tromping. Catch fireflies in jars, go gazing at stars. Try counting and seeing how many there are. See constellations, shapes and formations. Find a lion or a bear amid heaven's creations. Sing songs round campfires, make marshmallows s'mores, like grandpa tell stories, wage flashlight wars. Now when God made light, God made all different kinds, some sparkles, some flares, but all light shines. It flashes and bolts when lightning is crashing or bursts through the sky when a comet is dashing. And if you ever feel scared in the darkness of night, remember the shadows are no match for God's light. Climb into bed, sleep soundly and dream, and know that inside you, God's glow is a gleam. Cause you're just like the sun and the moon in the sky, as lustrous as twinkles that dazzle the eye. You're as splendid as lightning when it flashes so bright, cause on the day you were born, God said, let there be light. So beam like the sun, glimmer like a star, and wherever you go, dark will stop being dark. Shimmer and shine, be a beacon so bright, cause when God made you, child, God made light. The end. Oh. Okay, my friends. Just like we learned in the story and in our poem. This is Fred. This is Fred. And he is shining his light in the same way that when God comes and fills us, we shine light for him. So, with that being said, do you guys want to join us in a song? Sure. I'm do asking do. you to all make a candle. How could you make a candle? Got your candle? Have you ever sang this song before? It's This Little Light of Mine. You want to join in? Sure. All right. This little light, light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. What's the next part? Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. So when you go this week and you carve a pumpkin, remember our pumpkin poem and how we are just like pumpkins. And remember Fred and remember that we need to shine our light for Jesus. Bye.